Jennifer from Fiberflux. We are in the spring part of our 2018 Fiberflux Temperature Shawl project. With spring just beginning, I wanted to give a quick update to see what our progress was, and I'm really excited to see what some of you have done. Lots of you have shared your progress so far, and they all look gorgeous. So what we're doing, in case you're new to this project, is each week in 2018, we're going to be adding a row and creating a shawl. So a lot of times for temperature projects, you create a row per day, but we're going to do one per week to make this kind of a low-key, low-stress kind of project. Now you can see my progress so far. I've used a variety of colors because we're uh, kind of leaving winter and beginning spring, more on the cooler end of things. And um, I am up to this row here. So I've been able to complete this part of my project. And just as a refresher, what we're doing is the average weekly temperature. So I'm taking the temperature for each day, adding them all up, and then dividing them by seven, because there's seven days in a week, and get arriving at that number. Then I take that number and I plug it into my chart. So what I'm using for this project is Red Heart Super Saver. And I've noticed a lot of you are using this yarn. Some of you are using other yarns. So it's been really fun to see the color combinations that everyone is using. Now I've really chosen a full spectrum because where I live, it gets very hot down here in the red area and it also gets very cold. Now really I haven't had any days that were this cold. So I don't have any white stripes on my project. So it is interesting to see how all this plays out. But I am using Red Heart Super Saver, and we'll go over those colors just to review in just a moment. But I just wanted to show you the scale that I'm using. Now, some of you live in warmer areas, and you've had to scale a little bit differently. And some of you live in much colder climates and have to scale differently as well. So really adjust it to where you live. That way you'll get the best representation of colors and all the different colors you'll be using in your project. So basically, I used this yarn here, the white Red Heart Super Saver. If it's less than zero, all the way up to 10 degrees. Now I'm doing degrees Fahrenheit. Some of you are doing Celsius. Really, it's up to you. It's your choice. And I'm going to be using this lighter purple, the Orchid, for 11 to 20 degrees. The Lavender Red Heart Super Saver for 21 to 30 degrees. Uh, I have blue here. Um, this blue color here for 31 to 40 degrees. The uh, the, this aqua color, this is actually called turqua, uh, for 41 to 50 degrees. 51 to 60 degrees is spring green. 61 to 70 degrees, bright yellow. 71 to 80, perfect pink. 81 to 90, shocking pink. 91 to 100 and above, cherry red. So as we move through, you can see what I have so far is a representation of everything up to the 51 to 60 point. We haven't had any more warm days. So we're heading towards the end of March. So I have kind of like a cool color spectrum happening here. Now, some of you have asked me how I've been organizing this. I went to a website and printed a free calendar. So what I did was, um, you can give it any title you want. This is at timeanddate.com. This is a site I like to print cal calendars from. But I printed a year calendar, and then what I do each week is I go in uh, and look at the dates for the week, and I add the temperatures up, divide by seven, like I mentioned before, and I just make a little notation of the color. Sometimes I don't do, I don't crochet the row for that week. Sometimes I'll wait and do like three rows at a time. It's a very flexible project. But I'll just make a little notation of what color I need to put in there. And then once I've crocheted it, I'll take a, a pen, like one of these pens, and uh, just draw a line. So I meant to draw a line through this week and this week. <laughs> but um, I will draw the line through the week to indicate to myself that it is has indeed been added to the actual piece. So that's kind of the system I'm using. A lot of you had other systems. And some of you are proceeding a little bit differently. Some of you are doing two rows per week. You'll put the high and the low, high and the low, high and the low. So I think that's really interesting. And that will yield a much longer shawl. Mine is going to be um, kind of like a wrap that folds in like that. So if you want yours to be longer, you'll want to add some more rows to that. And um, some of you wanted a little bit of a chunkier yarn. Some of you are doing finer yarn. Just be aware of that. 
uh, in the finished piece sizing. So I can't wait to see what all of you are working on. A lot of you have been sharing in our Ravelry crochet along group. If you haven't joined, I'll put the link down below. Please hop on there and ask questions, show off your work. There's some beautiful photos in there if you need some inspiration for your own project. And um, we're going to have another update in the summer. I was going to do one per season. So we'll do one more in the summer, one in the fall, and one at the beginning of winter. And then at the end of the year, we're going to reveal the, the entire project. Also, when you're sharing your projects on social media, use the hashtag uh, FiberFluxCal. And that way, if you click on the hashtag, you'll be able to see everybody's projects. It's really fun when we're doing crochet alongs to see what everybody's working on. And also, I didn't mention this earlier, but we are using the 6mm J crochet hook. You'll need scissors and a tapestry needle if you haven't started. If you're just joining us for this project, uh, you can see we haven't done too much, so you can still be very easily catch up to what we're doing. So join us in the Ravelry group, share your beautiful photos on social media, and if you have any questions, you can hop on the Ravelry group, and um, I can't wait to see what you all are working up as we move through spring. So we'll be working more into the warmer colors. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.